Those in power that want to abuse it and, and get off on abusing it definitely plot on their prey. Sometimes that doesn't translate as far as what you are allowed to have, what you have access to. You will be blackballed, you will be talked about, you will be shit on, you will be rumored about. All that sass, those incredible vocals, the smooth jams, And boy, Maya could belt out a ballad that would make you cry. Show, you know that it's wrong. I can't let you get. And then turn right around and get you moving and tearing the dance floor to shreds. Yeah, well, things haven't exactly been a nonstop party for Maya in recent years. Sure, she's still out there performing, but it's not quite the same as selling out stadiums back in the day. So what went down? Did Maya get caught up in a diva dust-up with a record label exec or something? Cause there are whispers of label drama, creative clashes, and maybe even a hint of sabotage. Word on the street is Maya had some major beef with other folks in the industry too. Like Jay-Z, Beyonce, and her teaming Beehive. I'm dealing with all the Beehive coming at ya. I don't have anybody coming at me, <laughs> but I know what I'm not guilty of. And 50 Cent. There was a clip uh, that came out, <laughs> uh, it was on a red carpet, uh -huh. and uh, Jack Thriller from This Is 50, I guess, want to talk to you. And you said, nah, nah, I, I don't roll with 50, he lies. Born Maya Marie Harrison in 1979, this girl was a triple threat before triple threat was even a thing. She could sing, she could dance, ballet, jazz, tap. I was exposed uh, to the arts very, very early on in my childhood, and I was initially a tap dancer, mm -hmm. a hoofer. <laughs> you <laughs> name it, and she could definitely work a camera. Now, Maya didn't just appear out of thin air. She started out on BET's Teen Summit, uh. Uh. busting moves like nobody's business. But then, bam, she landed a record deal and dropped her first album, simply titled Maya. She had endured bullying because her father was black and her mom was white. So this album was all about love, growing up, and basically telling the world, it's all about me. Which, by the way, was the name of her hit single featuring Drew Hill, Major Throwback. The album did amazing. Critics loved it, the people loved it, and Maya was on fire. She even had some killer collaborations with Beanie Man, Blackstreet, and Mace. huge names back in the day. Maya was no one-hit wonder. Girl was a whole five-course meal, and she served us a sizzling second album, Fear of Flying. She showed us a grown-up, and let's be real, a more confident Maya. This one topped charts and delivered the breakup anthem, Case of the X. That song had everyone channeling their inner Maya and busting out those fierce dance moves with a trusty broomstick on the kitchen floor. Then came 2001, legend status. Maya teamed up with the Holy Trinity, Christina Aguilera, Pink, and Lil' Kim for a scorching Lady Marmalade cover. It ruled the charts, scored a Grammy, and solidified Maya as a queen. But she didn't stop there. Maya took control with Mood Ring, an album filled with heart and soul, and a gold certification. This queen wasn't just a singer. She was rocking all the scenes. Music. Movies. Music with you, Travis Tucker. Still my favorite Christmas melody. Dancing with the Stars. where she snagged second place, millions of albums sold, Grammys, MTV VMAs, Billboard even named her a top 2000s artist. Did you say iconic? Cause we hear ya. You know, it's a playground for me. I love music. Music has always moved me and resonated within, um, no matter the genre. With those killer vocals and dance moves, 
Maya was on top of her game and she had everyone hooked. But as we all know, fame comes with a price. Little did we know the drama was just around the corner. Whispers on the wind say there was some serious shade going down between Maya and her record label. Things got so bad, her next album, Liberation, got stuck in release purgatory. Delays, honey, delays. And to top it all off, the whole album leaked online before it even hit the shelves. I was excited. Executive produced this album called Liberation. Release date got changed a couple times and accidentally released prematurely. Once it's released in the public online, it leaks everywhere, they shelf it. And so it's technically released. When an album is released into the universe, you're owed a back in advance because it's completed and it's distributed. That means a lawsuit. I'm like, I'm not trying to be in court for two years and spending money that for a back in advance. So I decided to go independent and use my time wisely and got to work. Can you imagine the frustration? After all that label drama, Maya decided to take a stand as she dipped out of that messy situation fast. That's right, girl went independent. No more arguing about image or music. She was gonna do things her way on her own terms. And I produced an album that I would release exclusively in Japan. But that was the whole thing that prompted my independent journey. At first it was devastating, but it turned around very quickly to be the greatest blessing. Because I'm an artist, I just, I don't wanna wait for budgets to open so I can make music? No, we have to live like this. I, I live and breathe music. I live. No is not good enough for me, so I'm gonna find a way. Now that is a queen who knows her worth. But the drama doesn't stop with the label. There were whispers of tension between Maya and Beyonce, allegedly over the whole Jay-Z thing. What Jay-Z thing? Well, we can't tell you what might have gotten the rumor mill spinning. Was it the matching jerseys? Or maybe, just maybe, it was when Mediatakeout.com dropped a bomb during all that Beyonce and Jay-Z cheating drama, managing to throw Maya into the mix somehow. They claimed that Maya had been Jay-Z's secret girlfriend for 11 years, and that despite being married to Beyonce, rapper Jay-Z didn't just have an affair with Maya, he was also so bankrolling her. And then another website, Crazy Days and Crazy Nights, published an anonymous post that read, when people talk about Jay-Z and his mistresses, they often forget about a mainstay who has been there forever. Apparently, Maya was the low-key mistress who hadn't had a hit song in ages. That whole drama got some folks in the beehive a little heated, and there were reportedly death threats in Maya's direction. Maya had to come out and publicly deny everything. I can't really speak on you know, what another person does, but art is art, and it's definitely an expression of self, often truth. Often truth, you think? Because... It can be. It can be free therapy. <laughs> because in the past, of course, you've been accused of similar things. Well, that's what you sign up for when you enter the business. Absolutely, but it must be hard dealing with all the beehive coming at you. I don't have anybody coming at me. <laughs> But I know what I'm not guilty of. Maya said, never did, never was, never will, period. She threw some serious shade at what she called thirsty, illegitimate sources, spreading lies and made it clear she's an independent queen. Pays her own bills, runs her own label, the whole shebang. Maya went on to say these rumors are just people trying to get attention for their own sad lives. And she even threw in a little Bible reference for good measure. Yeah, she shut that down fast. If nothing, that rumor proved that Maya's got sex appeal that could melt glaciers. And the fellas noticed. Rapper The Game wasn't shy about it. He straight up wrote a song saying he wanted to be with Maya. Can you blame the dude? I was like, I was looking at a poster on the wall of Maya, and I was like, <laughs> I had dreams of an R&B bitch like Maya. And then I manifested that, not to even to my own horn. <laughs> But it's not, you know, because a lot of people would look at this and say, why are you talking out the bed or why are you pillow talking? Mm. It's because it's Maya. Mm. And it was like, she, I, had, I had Maya posters back to back to back yeah, in high bro. school. So Maya when, was I, everybody so when I finally <laughs> got to a point where I actually got to date Maya, it was mm. a thing. And still to this day, one of the most wholesome, beautiful, amazing singers, like just a classic person and a very, she got a very big heart, man. And uh, she gonna see it and be like, you stand? But you know, it's all good. She probably somewhere eating cantaloupe on the beach barefoot. 
But she, you know, she organic. Yeah. You know, it's like Maya, Erica Badu, Janae yeah. Aiko, you yeah. know, not to Big Sean, I don't want no smoke. Um, <laughs> you know, because you got to be careful when you talk about people women, man. Like, they they go crazy on you. But, like, those type of women, they're, they have, you know, that's the type of women. Mm-hmm. They organic, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. go to the beach barefoot. They <laughs> they just be burning incense, sage, and getting the ghosts out. So, yeah, Maya was one of those people, man. So, the transition was when I shot the Dreams video, I was still in the hood with it, still mm. transitioning from, I had a condo in Wilshire, but I, had, I ain't had no furniture. Uh, I, had a, I had an air mattress um, and Maya would come over there and she would just make me food and we just sleep on the air mattress. And uh, yeah, that was it, man. In response to that, rapper Fitty Sin wrote a song and claimed he was one step ahead of the game and he'd already slept with Maya. I get bad bitches now, I even fuck Maya. I f- the first game. Maya shut down those rumors fast, but apparently that burn still stings. A reporter from 50 Cent's show tried to chat with Maya at an event, and homegirl was having none of it. She basically blasted him on the spot, letting everyone know she doesn't appreciate liars. I mean, he was just bullshit. Okay. Not a fan of things that project false things, as well as disrespect someone's character. I don't get down like that. I don't appreciate that. You just, you have to pray for people that will do anything for numbers, ratings, a song, or popularity. While it seems that Fiddy might have fessed up to lying in private, that ain't enough for Maya. You know, my father and I sat in a room at Violator when Chris Lighty was managing a particular artist, and that artist interrupted my meeting. And my father was in the room, you know? So we cleared out the air, and the confession was made on the other person's part that yes, they lied, but if that will ever come out from the person's mouth, who knows, who cares? I've addressed it, and you have to pray for certain people. Maya's love life has simply been a rumor mill on Overdrive. She's been linked to more rappers than the crystals on a chandelier because everyone wants to know who she's been with. But this queen keeps her lips sealed tighter than a vault. We don't really see your life played out on the internet and social media in terms of your personal life. You know what I mean? You're not Instagramming with whoever you're dating and there's no wild like text messages, you know, released and, and so forth. How do you really keep your life, your personal life that private? Well, I look at my personal life as sacred. I look at the man that I choose. Maya never seemed afraid to be her own kind of queen and that might have ruffled some feathers. Can't say that all women are treated unfairly, disrespectfully, but I can say that that happens all over the world in every or any industry in any circumstances whether it be personal relationships in business etc Maya faced some serious predators along the way and if she didn't play ball well whispers say she got blackballed for not conforming this is what I did I said no I'm good thank you no thank you so sometimes that doesn't translate as far as what you are allowed to have Maya had a voice, talent, and a backbone. And that can be a scary combo for some folks in power. Afraid of age as a woman or being manless. Crazy ideas, validation. Doesn't drive me. That's not the driving force in my life. And I've settled right. in myself and I'm comfortable wherever I am, whoever I'm around. It's a feeling, it's an energy to own yourself. Maya kept it cute with the name dropping. But one thing's clear, the industry was basically asking her to sell her soul for fame. Maya's response not be desperate you have to be willing to say i'm good she started her own record label planet nine that name suggests that maya just wants to be in a world of her own doing the thing that she loves my planet might not necessarily rotate around the sun 365 days it might take me seven years to do something in my own time versus one earth year but i have to i have to put myself in a completely different world and environment just to function and stay good stay alive stay happy In 2020, Maya threw the internet into a proper meltdown mode with a move so unexpected, it had the world like, wait, what? Photos of Maya surfaced online with her on a beach in a wedding dress. But there was no groom in sight. Turns out, Maya had tied the knot with herself. Fans were left scratching their heads. Was this a publicity stunt? Was it a desperate cry for attention? Maya clears the air. 
There's this narrative and a lot of questions that have come about in my career, especially in my later career. Why are you not married? Why do you not have kids? There's been many proposals, etc. But what I want to convey was a different message. It was in the music video. And I think what happened in the press with just one picture and the fixation was shown. Oh, you're conceited. It's not what that is. Now people are asking me what my secret is. My secret literally is marrying myself spiritually and committing to myself in all areas of my life where maybe I was lacking. Even if it was for a music video, that move was all about self-love and independence. And if we're being honest, Maya looked stunning in that wedding dress. She totally owned the whole ceremony, even if it was just her and the ocean. If Maya loved herself enough to marry herself, you bet homegirl is taking care of her body and giving it all the love it needs. People, when they ask me about going vegan, they ask me, how do I keep, especially the ladies, how do I keep my curve and vegan or plant-based diet or even a raw vegan diet? And you can totally be a bodybuilder with a vegan diet and gain muscle because that's where some of the strongest animals get their protein directly from the store source. This goddess switched to a raw vegan diet. And let me tell you, the results are glowing. At 44 years old, Maya's out here looking like she discovered the fountain of youth and ain't sharing the location. Or maybe, just maybe, that raw vegan life is a real magic trick. Either way, this queen is serving ageless looks and fierce health vibes. Looks like we all could use a slice of that raw vegan pie. And while Maya may not be selling out stadiums, she's doing just enough to have an impressive net worth of four million. Maybe the industry tried to break her. Maybe she was blackballed, but Maya came back stronger, healthier, and more independent than ever. She remains a true inspiration, a reminder that even when the industry throws shade, you can go right ahead and create your own sunshine. Now that's a queen who deserves a standing ovation.